Whenever we board a plane and go on a journey, we want to know we're safe. And we know the lengths the airlines go to and the authorities go to are extreme. But we're going to find out a little bit more about this in just a few moments as we welcome from Honeywell, Anthony Florian. Now, for those who don't know, welcome, by the way, but for those who don't know who Honeywell are, can you give us a bit of an idea? Honeywell is a long-standing history of being an expert in automation and controls technology. And across our company, as we evolve, we're focused on really three mega trends. One is automation, the second is energy transition and the sustainability solutions needed in the marketplace today. And the third is the future of aviation and representing aerospace for the Europe, Middle East, Africa and India region as president of that region. Uh, we're here at Farnborough to talk about the future of aviation. It's yeah. fantastic to have yeah. you here. Now the future of aviation is one thing, the safety is it's all intrinsically linked, isn't it? Now we've seen, alarmingly, we've seen the number of near misses on runways increase in recent times. Something that you're concerned about as well. What yeah. are Honeywell doing to address this? What, and a backdrop as well, what can you tell us about this? Aviation and air transport is one of the safest forms of transportation today. Uh, and quite frankly, um, I fly frequently myself all the time for work, for pleasure, and rest assured that this industry is the safest uh, industry in terms of the transportation modes. Uh, and we continue to maintain an absolutely high standard of safety. Um, so this is where we look at what can we do to in continue to improve the level of safety within our industry, really across the board as we go forward particularly as we talk about the increase in volume in air traffic. Um, so there continues to be robust demand for air transportation, growing marketplace, and as that marketplace grows, the airspace becomes more crowded, as do the airports. In that, we've seen an increasing frequency of reported um, runway um, in events. When we talk about runway events, we talk about incursion, on the runway, that means that uh, aircraft crossing a runway or two aircraft on the same runway, a wrong surface event, so an aircraft using a taxiway instead of a runway or the wrong runway, or an excursion, meaning an aircraft has a long takeoff or not enough runway to take off or land. So those are kind of the events we're talking about when we talk about runway events. When it comes down to, to safety then, mm -hmm. multiple layers for the defense, multiple layers of safety are required. Yeah. What are we seeing both on the ground and in the cockpit? Because I, I believe there's extra layers being put in all the time. Yeah, so ADSB, which is uh, automatic dependent surveillance equipment, is mandated to be on aircraft, which is mostly effective in terms of aircraft in the air. Now, ADSB, when we talk about the runway, is not, is not the only solution that will help a pilot or air traffic control detect traffic on runway. So what we're talking about is enhancing the level of awareness, both in air traffic control, but mostly within the cockpit as the last layer of defense in terms of traffic on runway. So some of the things we're doing is around the technology enhancing audible call-outs and enhancing visual um, call-outs within the cockpit that add that extra layer of defense um, and add an additional awareness within the cockpit in terms of um, what is the situation on the runway and how do they increase the safety of the operation of the airport. Yeah. When we talk about aviation and sustainability, we often talk about uh, Efficiency, yeah. efficiency with air traffic control as well. If you can get a plane to take off and land without having to circle 10 yes. times before, yeah. then it's more efficient. But efficiency works on the runway as well, the taxiing, the landing, it, the, yeah. the whole aspect of it. So is there any element in, in air traffic control that's also being looked into? The, across the industry, there's, frankly, during COVID, there was a lot of expertise that left the industry. And that's within air traffic control, within the the pilots and within skilled labor kind of cross, across the industry. And with that, as the industry grows and more skilled employees come back into the marketplace, we need to help improve the level of automation, improve the level of efficiency 
um, that those folks can do their jobs. Also to add a layer of redundancy in terms of how we uh, fault proof you know, different things that could go wrong. Um, and with that, we look at pilot awareness as one of those layers of defense. Currently, if you talk about a runway event, air traffic control will be the primary communicator of the uh, alert to the pilot. And what we're doing within our technology space on the aircraft is to improve the technology, the algorithms, and the calculations that would provide pilots the awareness of that um, potential risk um, well in advance of what air traffic control would be able to provide. So that providing that information directly to the pilots, even if it creates 15 to 30 seconds of increased awareness, um, is, is critical when you talk about um, avoiding a, a, yeah. a runway event. So what about mandates then? Why are mandates so important that, that we're suddenly seeing more people signing up, more regions signing up to these, these same standards? Across our industry, safety continues to be paramount and key. And I think we, we talk about air transportation as being one of, the, one of the safest forms of transportation that you can take. Um, part of the reason is because the FAA, uh, EASA, aviation authorities take that as you know, number one priority, as do airline operators, as do um, you know, the, the operators of the aircraft in the industry. So I think when we talk about mandates, it's making sure that we have an ecosystem that functions. So in the example of ADSB, in order for that ecosystem to work, you really need all the aircraft to be equipped with the same type of technology so that you're able to effectively manage the airspace. Now what we're talking about is how do regulators continue to evolve, how they look at safety in those different areas, which don't have mandates currently covering it. And, and one of those areas is around the technology that improves runway safety and runway awareness. So currently there is no mandate for this type of technology um, on the aircraft to provide pilot awareness for traffic on the road. Anthony, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. It's refreshing to know, isn't it, that as we step on a plane, every time we step on a plane, there are more and more organizations and companies working to keep us safe. Once again, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you.